Hey guys, how you guys doing? It's March 31st, 2019. Hoping you're having a wonderful day, a blessed day indeed. Um, the last video I talked about how Gaza launched five rockets into Israel. Well, Israel responded by uh, hitting a couple outposts, uh, most likely empty buildings that haven't been used uh, for hours. Um, and that was their form of retaliation. It looks like Benjamin Netanyahu is not going to do anything to curb uh, the factions in Gaza, their violence towards Israel. He's not going to do anything to curb them, you know. Um, and a lot of Israelis seem to be very angry over this, especially uh, the education minister, Naftali Bennett. Um, he's filing a formal complaint with the attorney general, uh, general in Israel. Uh, don't think it's going to really carry any weight, but... Uh, Israelis are not happy with the way, way BB is uh, handling this because Israel looks pretty damn weak. Uh, honestly, I could, I feel like Gaza could launch rockets for the next couple days, and we would just see some airstrikes on some empty buildings. You know, so nothing to report there. More of the same. You know, why do we think any different? Um, but Benjamin Netanyahu might be on his way out the door anyway. So. Uh, who cares? But this main video, what I or this the main thing I want to talk about is the fact that Putin just signed a decree uh, conscripting uh, 135,000 people for military service. All right, uh, and this is huge. This is huge, uh, not only because of the ramifications uh, globally, uh, but the Ukraine is holding uh, their elections today. You know, and we see cross border firing between Russia and the Ukraine all the damn time, you know. And now we have to throw this Venezuela uh, mess uh, into the situation, all right. Uh, we talked about Chinese troops being in Venezuela. There's obviously Russian troops in Venezuela. And uh, the U.S. is handing out some tough talk, but uh, will we do anything about it? Most likely not. Though Juan Guaido did, or Guaido, I keep on saying his name wrong. April 6th is the day of operation uh, for the opposition party in Venezuela, okay? And uh, the opposition leader uh, came out and stated that uh, basically f foreign intervention is something he's going to accept, all right? That the parliament uh, and the constitution give him that right, and so that's something that they will look into. Now, if that's going to occur, probably not. That's, that's my big guess here. I mean, now that Russia has a foothold in Venezuela, uh, China may have troops in Venezuela. Uh, I mean, you're risking a much greater conflict than if you just went in and it was just uh, Venezuela and uh, Maduro's cronies, you know. So military intervention doesn't really make sense to me at this point. Too much to lose, not enough to gain. Um, but, you know, this, this signed by Putin, 135,000 uh, people conscripted into the military. Uh, that's big news. That's something we need to keep our eyes on. These are uh, everyday things we need to keep our eyes on, guys. Um, basically, the only thing I wanted to give you guys information about, update about Israel and Hamas. Troops are still at a high alert, uh, but it doesn't seem like anything's going to come from this because Benjamin Netanyahu is making Israel look super weak, which has ramifications uh, all the way to Iran, you know. Um, Pakistan, India, another ceasefire violation, uh, heavy firing between those two. Um, like we talked about, I believe yesterday, uh, India was seen moving more military hardware towards the border with Pakistan. Uh, now, if anything comes from that, I don't know. Uh, maybe just military posturing. Uh, both these, these two sides don't like each other, you know. Um, but, you know, as, as more information about all this comes out, I'll let you guys know. We'll talk about it. We'll discuss it, all right? Have a beer, say a few prayers, and as always, keep your eyes to the skies.